Hello everyone and welcome to new Pokemon Snap. I haven't even started it up yet. I wanted it nice and fresh for everyone to make sure we could all enjoy this together. And uh, yeah, right away, because I know I'm going to get this question a lot. How am I playing it already? Uh, eShop is region free. <laughs> so picked up a copy off of the Japanese eShop. Uh, there's also the Australian eShop if you want that option. And yeah, you could just play it in English just by uh, picking up, you know, on those other eShops. So if you want to pick it up right now and you have a way of, uh, you have a, you just need to make an Australian account or a Japanese account and uh, get a gift card to put that on there, um, boom, you can play Pokemon Snap. But with that said, let's actually see what this game's all, this game's like. <clears throat> and uh, we'll see if, uh, the sounds like uh, all good and uh, what we need to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. I lose my <coughs> frog. <in> my <clears throat> Excuse me. Not frog in my throat. Uh, crow gunk. <laughs> there we go. Because see, we can set our English, uh, set our English, set our language to whatever we want. So we'll go with English. And uh, we can even, you can play with English with Japanese uh, voices. But I, I'm curious about the English language. All right, let's see. We a boy or we a girl? You know what? I like this design. And it looks like you can change your name whenever you want, but we'll just go the simple Derek. There I am. Look at me. Looking good. <laughs> All right, let's jump in. Up, oh, up. Oh, we got our mascots. Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences. Love the Pidgey vein. Hello, Juan Pablo. Ah, uh, cutie fly. Oh, Stoutland. Stoutland. Wow. Actually fully voiced. Well, for the cutscenes anyway. Alright, we got Professor Mir. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. I did not pick up that it was named LENS. Wow. My name is Mir. I'm researching Pokemon and their natural environment here on Florio Island. Yeah, and that's not all. The professor is going to study every single island here in the Lentil region. No one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's going to be amazing. No one? Aren't you forgetting about a certain explorer? Oops, good point. You've read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? Indiana Jones. But even counting him, Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Well, thanks. I have not played the Metopia de uh, demo yet. It does look like a young birch, doesn't it, uh, Black, Black Kuro? Hey, Animatius Animations, Ma Animatius, your first stream, how's it going? This is Rita, her parents are good friends of mine, she's here on vacation while her school's on break. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor, I'm your research assistant. Of course. Anyway. Alright. Yes, let's take a look at the lab. One second. It's Iris's younger sister. <laughs> All right, let me explain. The Lentil region is absolutely teeming with po uh, Pokemon. Dedene, <laughs> Aldino, so much experience. Uh, oh yeah, this game looks fantastic. Photographing these Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. 
And that's exactly what you're here to do. At night, you might even see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. Nice, nice. I've got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team, too. Huh, neat. That's right, it's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here, so take good care of it. Oh, that was a nice little buzz when it popped out. <laughs> Awesome, right? It's a camera. <laughs> Professor invented it. Anyway. Yeah. All right, let's learn how to use this camera. All right, tutorials are based on default button layouts. I'm actually impressed they have full cutscenes for this. I have full voice acting for this. Don't think that's one yet. Take the shot. Uh huh. Got it. It's been 22 years. You probably don't know how to take pictures. Well, we're not Todd Snap in this one. I mean, it is kind of small. Uh, we want a big, chunky Pikachu. Well, thank you. Alright, we've learned the basics. Alright, how was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. One shot of each Pokemon. I will miss uh, Oak's clips from Snap, <laughs> the original Snap. Audio is a little low for the game. I will fix that. One second. How's that? Ah, they come in folders. Thank you for that, by the way, Oscar. Apparently much better. A new discovery. Look at that pose. First thing I do is rate each photo from one to four stars. I came up with a system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in ordinary state get fewer stars. Excuse me. More unusual behavior means more stars. Simple enough. To be clear, the number of stars a photo receives doesn't affect its score. Every category is important. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what was uh, happening when you took each photo. That data helps me categorize your photos. Let's move on to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject's pose. 
Snapping your photo at just the right moment is the key to getting a high pose score. Now on to the other factors. Size is straightforward. The larger your subject Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then, it's there, then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing you in your photos. Next is the placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame and for a nice, balanced photo. And finally, you'll get bonus points if other Pokemon are in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now, I know that was a lot of info all at once. Let me, bo let me boil it down. Remember this and you'll be fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap the shutter. With all that in mind, here's your evaluation. You sucked. Looking good. Hard to believe you're a beginner. Only a one star, though. I do like to have a categorized, like, here's your one star, here's your two star, here's your three star. Dunky, uh, the uh, Ratchet & Clank State of Play is not until 5 o'clock Eastern today, so that's coming up later today. Uh, later. Ah, because of course, it disappoints Pokemon to be photo photographed from behind. They want their good side. Nice work. Not bad for not being able to move the camera at that point. I love the vibe of this. How was it? What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That will be a great milestone to work toward. Right. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your adventure. Ooh, first, first level. Uh, technically, yes, Brian Calabro, but just as a reminder, uh, just real quick, the, re the, the reason I'm able to play this right now is because I got the, uh, the Japanese version. There's also the Australian version available right now. So if you have an account that can access those and a, a, a gift card or, you know, eShop car card to uh, buy them, you can buy, you can play Pokemon Snap right now. Because uh, I'm just, you can just select English. I can just select my typical um, uh, account and we're good to go. Oh, that guy, Chris, apparently Amazon signing up the game early, getting mine today. That's awesome. Alright. By the way. The Neo one. I love how it hasn't really changed much since uh, the original. Here's the thing. Ooh, who you know? Jeez. The decals can wait. They wanna take pictures. There's nice. Enjoy your first photo expedition. There's nice vibration to this. All right. Lentil travelogue, a book. Well, I couldn't read it all. That's just pretty. I'm sorry. Pichu, I need you back here, please. Actually, real quick. Uh, settings. Put motion controls on. I wanted to move, go a little faster. Buffalon. Pichu. Whatever, I'll get you from behind. Badoof! <laughs> Wormple. We'll get him from far away for now. Look at that water. That is beautiful. What else we got in here? Where are you? Wurmple! 
Hi, Wormple. Hey, Amoga. I love... I can love how you can hear the Wurmple uh, chewing. Hold on, Wurmple, come on, give me your good side. Don't miss anything else. Hello? Crystal Bloom. I don't know why I photographed that, but apparently it's good. Hey, Swana! Magikarp up there. Halo. Oh, hello, Drodrio. Dro oh, look at that. They're actually making a beaver dam. That's fun. Or a uh, Bidoof dam. Get the Magikarp. Another Bidoof. There's our Pichu with its eyes closed. Pichu! You jerk! <laughs> and yes, it does have gyro, but I'm not... It's not really... Oh, I think I forgot to turn it... Uh, leave it on. And... Hoot Hoot in the tree. Wanna in flight? That's a good photo. I love how they give you a little preview of the photo you took. That's a immediate indication of how um, how well you did. Let's get some comfy. Let's get comfy in here. Uh, floor just absolutely floor just photo. Nice, that's a good one. Nice. Toast God, how did I get this early? Japanese eShop. Yep, still fun. Anyway. Alright, let's choose our Pokemon, Dodrio. Eh. Oh! Do you get to choose one each for one star and three star? Oh, that's interesting. All right, so for our two star, we'll do this. I, it's interesting, you immediately see what's the what the two star is. If you want to fill out one, uh, like one of each, that's pretty cool. Huh. Still not good enough to do better than the other one. Oh well. Nice two star. Eh, I like this photo better. Yeah, that was pretty terrible for on Pichu. No, no. Go with that one. Ah, oh, still only one. What a shame. How is that only a one star? She's right in the middle of the flame. Uh, frame. Looking gorgeous. There you go. Yeah, it'll do.
Alright. I think that looks good. The reading is hard, yeah. Later, later, Carlos. A new discovery. Great timing. Size was good. And they make you work it for uh, three and four stars. It seems. Okay, so you get you get one, two, three, four stars, but they go from bronze to gold. Interesting. The stars are based on how the Pokemon are moving or reacting. Oh, I see. Stars are for behavior, not just quality. Good to know. So it looks like it goes from bronze to like crystalline. A new discovery. Nice work. Yeah, not the best, but I'll take it. A new discovery. Nice work. Wow, that was that went better than I thought. <laughs> A new discovery. Nice work. That is an excellent Badoof shot, shot, if I do say so myself. Maybe a little in the shadow, but oh, look at that. That is a good shot of Wurmple. Ah, looks like you got to get a, uh, above 4,000 in order to get the crystal. A new discovery. Really? Only 200 for that pose? Looks like below 2,000 and you get, it's a bronze. 2 to 2,500 is silver, 2,500 to... I forget. I'm messing things up. Maybe three thousand. A new discovery. Nice work. I was gonna say that's a. That's good. There's some of these I'm really proud of. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot how many Pokemon we got. A new discovery. Nice work. Yeah, it looks like 3,500 to 4,000 is gold. Below 3,000 30, 3, to 3,500 is silver. Below 3,000 is bronze. And above 4,000 is crystal. So there's how you get your... Uh, that's your point totals. A new discovery. Am I getting a printer? Probably not. Not a great shot of Hoot Hoot, but... A new discovery. Nice work. Oh, well. Wow, I did better than I thought, honestly. A new discovery. Nice work. Alright, I'll take gold. Not too shabby. Alright, let me tell you about research levels. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. Interesting. The key to raising your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. That means getting photographs of them in every category, from 1 star to 4 star. So in short, fill up that photo decks. Keep in that in mind, and you'll be right on, on the right track. So each level has expedition points to go up and that gets more. Wow. Okay. Oh. 
Well, that's one way to extend gameplay. Oh, sweet. Ah, photo program newbie. And look this way. Let's see. Let's get my favorites. Oh, you get all of them. Save that one. Let's choose resnap real quick. Oh wow. <laughs> this just makes me think of uh God with that silhouette. It just looks like uh oh what is it? King Ghidorah. My favorite Pokemon, uh, Jeremy Brosnick, is Squirtle. That's pretty cool. Alright. We're not going to worry about it too much, so let's just return to camp. A temperate island where humans and Pokemon live together in harmony. There's a Pokemon research lab situated on the grounds of a nature park. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, Shane, am I going to stream uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart on the day of the game's uh, launch live stream? I might try to show off a little bit just to get people excited. Let's go snap some photos. Here. Alright, this is the professor's lab. Not that it's your first time here, of course. This is where the professor does his research and works on mechanical stuff. In fact, he pretty much lives here. Right. Well, yeah. Anyway, let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do. That server over there is where we store our research work. There are a few things you can do with all that data. First, you can check your photo decks. That's, encyclop that's the encyclopedic record you're building with the photos you're taking. Isn't it cool getting to put, getting to put together your very own photo decks? Next, there's your space. Oh, lovely. <laughs> that's where you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. Your album is for the photos you want to keep uh, but not put in your photo decks. You can edit your album uh, photos in some cool ways, too. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? Also. Wow, he just got in there. What we can do on the internet? There you go, you can look at each other's inter uh, photos around the world. That's cool. And give digital medal medals. They're called sweet medals. Give all you want. People love getting them. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. Let's take a look at the photo decks. See, I got an object of interest before I was even ready for it. You can make your own caption. Interesting, you get more info the more you, uh... I actually really like that they have uh, captions for these. That's 
pretty cool, honestly. Hmm. Linkfin, I've only done one stage so far. I'm just kind of getting into it and seeing what we're all about. There's the map. Wow, it's pretty sizable. Hmm. <laughs> That's cool to even show you the route it takes. Oh, that's... That's pretty cool that you get to plot out your roots and see what you find as you go along. Like, this is where you took pictures of them. There's some really smart changes in here. Or additions. Yeah, this feels like a pretty worthy follow-up to uh, the original Pokemon Snap so far. Twelve pages worth of research titles. Basically achievements. So many achievements. Uh, Dodrio is my top shot. <laughs> and let's take a look at the internet, see what everybody else has. Just to get an idea of the two <laughs> That's pretty cool. That'll be fun. Alright, All right, let's go research. Is the puzzle solving element still here? Uh, we've only, basically think of this as really early on where we haven't done too much yet. Just one run through. Now. All right, I can run a scan. That'll give you details about your surroundings. It tells you about nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Hmm. Let's jump in and see what we got this time. Running a scan is easy. All you gotta do is press the X button. Try it out. You saw that Pokemon's name pop up, right? Uh huh. Did you also notice that question mark? That tells you there's something to take a closer look at. First, move the pointer over the question mark. Did you see the pointer change shape? Yeah. That's your cue to press and hold Actually, it happened so quick that I didn't. Whatever's there. Give it a try. There. Now you should see the results. Come to think of it, I hmm. think a friend of the professor's came up with the name Neo One. Well, pretty easy, right? Some guy named Oak. When this icon pops up at the bottom of your screen, there's something nearby to check out. Game volume's still a little low. I'll raise it up just a bit. Hopefully that's good. When you see that, try running a scan and taking a careful look around. Oh right, I almost forgot. There's one more cool thing you should know about scanning. Some 
Okay. Ooh. <laughs> say cheese. Okay, sure. Alright. Gotta run a scan. First of all. Can still only do the Florio Nature Park, but that's okay. Oh, you can change your level back at any time so you can get earlier ones. Neat. A lowland oak. Florian oak. And I can skip this, but eh, I'll we'll watch it one more time. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. They're not saying cheese. Oh, Bidoof in the water, Bidoof in the water, where'd he go? He's gone. Oh, hello. That's yeah, nice and close. Some charred fruits. I miss the Emolga. Oh, barely got that swan. Oh, ducklet. That Dodrio loves to cause trouble. <laughs> Contemplative Bidoof. Sorry, there's so much to take in, I'm kind of failing. I'm trying to see if I can get them to like pay attention to me, but there's a good tailor photo. Comfy, you want to come look at me? Oh, got it waving. Bouvalant. Hey, Bouvalant, look over here. Okay, I think I got it. 
There is gyro and you can turn it off. So the gyro is completely optional. Might be Torchic. Alright, we got Ducklet. No, I haven't seen any, uh, any unique forms yet. Ooh, I got two three stars. Now we're talking. Yeah, I'm going with this one. Yeah, I don't need any uh, new ones of that. Yeah, I got a one star. <laughs> nah, I'm sorry. This this has to be my new one. I mean, it, might, it might only be one star, but that's a five star in my heart. Just to see how they compare. Ooh, a three star. Now we're talking. Yeah, it seemed like Grookey and uh, Pichu were the only ones who reacted to it. What's my favorite aspect of the game so far, Eddie Beals? Um, I think it's just the fact that uh, everything does feel like an update so far. Look at that, 4,000. Mm. Nice I'll take a silver. Mm. Nice work. <laughs> Contemplative Bidoof needs to become an emote on Twitch. <laughs> It's interesting they have, like, um, the star system to give you, like, different types, like, almost categories for them. This better be high ranked. Natural state. There we go. Knew it was better. You can't beat that Bidoof photo. No luck. Nice work. Can't beat a single swan on its own. <laughs> a new discovery. Hey, we got Ducklet. Nice work. Only silver, but oh well. So, Claxton, what's the difference between the one to four stars and bronze, silver, etc.? So, the stars is basically their type of pose. Whether it's a bit more active, whether it's kind of static, whether it's more natural, I guess, or just something really special for each one will get you four star. And then within that, you get points. And um, below 3,000 is bronze, 3,000 to 3,500 is silver, 3,500 to 4,000 is gold, and 4,000 plus is... Uh, is uh, crystal or whatever. Nice work. Hmm. Old one's still better. Nice work. Missed it by eleven points. Oh well. Alright. 
Got our three star. And a crystal, of course. That floor just gold. What's up? Thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Well, I gotta save that... I gotta save that Bidoof. Where is that Bidoof at? Yeah, we need a new title for this one. This is Lost in Thought. <laughs> now this one I will upload. <laughs> to doof. Nighttime visit. You get to see one of Lentil's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. Of... You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Hmm. Yes, I am, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step toward my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokemon sp spoken of in the Legends of Lentil. You mean the Illumina Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No. I don't know which one that is, actually. Oh, they're very much real. You've seen, you've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travel log, haven't you? He was a terrible photographer. What? Thoughts of an HM slave. Nice, Richard Herrera. <laughs> All right now. Right. All right, we get to go during the night. Real quick, I gotta upload this to the internet. <laughs> You can really change it to whatever. Right, that's fine for now. We're going with Richard Herrera's thoughts. Of an HM slave. Just because I like this one's uh this one's a bit closer. I accidentally zoomed it out a bit last time. Thoughts of an HM slave. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's because it's slave. Slave. Ah, uh, we need something other than slave. <laughs> I was wondering about that. Thoughts of an HM. Ah, uh, we we'll just go with lost in thought. Buddy Mule. <laughs> the 
Thought thoughts of an HML. Okay, here we go. Of HM I don't I'm not for whatever reason I'm not enjoying Mule, but I like Mon. I wanted to... There we go. Thoughts of an HM on. Let the right likes roll in. <laughs> See if there's anything in here. Uh, okay, got an error. Couldn't it was my my photo photograph was just too good. Couldn't handle it. <laughs> that was weird. Eh, I've had that happen with a few Switch games. It's it's never something that concerns me. At least I got my nighttime one. Alright, let's go research. Research God himself. Photograph God himself. And yes, it is auto saved. Alright, let's hit the park at night. Padoof use crash. I love it. Oh, see, that's just pretty. Okay, you can skip it after the first time. Or bunny. Watch for differences in their behavior. Oh, that's adorable. Score bunny, stop showing me your butt. I want to see the front. What's up, God? Badoof. That just barely missed him. He ran away. Tangrowth. Tangrowth, over here. There you go. Wow, you're a big boy. Ooh, Caterpie. Gotta get Caterpie. Ooh, Murkrow. Love my dark type Pokemon. Pinsir! Dang it! Totera! Okay, th this is exciting every time you see a new one. Oh, he's sleeping. She's sleeping. Wait! Get back here! There's our illuminated po Pokemon. Get back here. Pidget. Oh, there goes Scorbunny again. There we go. Oh, sleeping Bidoof. Ooh, that's a good ducklet one. There's our hoot hoot.
This is still as cool as... Oh, Pinter! There you go! Bye! Come here, Pinter! Pinter? No. Oh, well. Oh, Combi! Combi! I gotta turn faster. Oh, that would end up being a good shot. Oh my gosh, I have to get this photo of Score Bunny. I need it. I need it. Come here. That is amazing. I love it. Can you change the camera uh, speed? Um, I can. I don't have it. I raised it a little bit. I might have to turn, uh, get it to go up a little bit more. Yeah, I'm not too far in. I'm taking my time and kind of exploring everything. So no worries there. Really. Sleeping score bunny is only worth one. Go figure. It gets us our two star. I'm sorry, not as good. I guess I gotta go for the two star. A little too uh, close. I guess this one. I got one two star. And a comb B. Yes, you can play with Gyro. I need to turn that on. Joseph Bay, I'm really enjoying it. This this is a this is a lot of fun. It really captures that. I feel it's like a little slower than the original. Um <clears throat> It's definitely a bit wordier and whatnot, but still fun. Nice. Ace that score, Bunny. I'm sorry, that's a good photo of Tan Growth. See? Told you it was good. Aw, oh, look at the good boy Caterpie. <laughs> How are you playing a day early, Arrow asks? I got it. I got this off the Japanese eShop. So if you have an account with that, uh, you can pick it up yourself. Oh, 51 points away from gold, uh, crystal. Yeah. Oh, well. Tangrowth is the Pokemon version of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Not too shabby. Mm. 
Nice work. Oh, come on. Five points away. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Wonder how long the game is? It seems to be a... I, honestly, based off what I've played so far, this is definitely a longer game than the original. Apparently, I'm really good at taking pictures of Ducklet. Nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. There's definitely way more Pokemon to take pictures of in this game. Ah, so close. Hey, new profile icon. What do we got? Yeah, the variety cross gens is definitely pretty, uh, is very solid right now. We missed our Illumina Pokemon too. Incredible has happened. Here, take a look at this. Here's the thing. How am I liking the new professor? He's fine. <laughs> he's, you know, he's there. I don't think there's anything too crazy about him right now. idea not a, not a clue there are there is a mere tree uh, time sage what? Rita you're not the protagonist <laughs> you can't go on this <laughs> Let's go to settings. We'll increase it two more for these. So should I try to capture the Illumina Pokemon that stopped by, or just uh, keep move? I guess I should just keep uh, moving forward. Let's pop in here. Well, that's definitely where the reading was coming from. Do you see or hear anything? Is this like a boss fight? <laughs> oh, it's the bay leaf. Or no, meganium, excuse me. He's a big boy. <laughs> I kind of just want to see him bite off his head. <laughs> it's like, just like, up. That meganium's the Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture. Uh. 
I'm gonna try and get your good side. Is it reacting to, or is it just the meganium? Hmm, first steak. Dang it! Should have brought a Pokeball. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they'll have barriers and whatnot, uh, like a like the Mew battle from original Pokemon Snap. Well, that's not fair. They got... Okay, you definitely have to repeat that a few times if you want to get all the uh, meganiums. Where's my three-star at? Why is it not marked as such? Should I choose this one or? Oh, so I got a three star photo, but the Illumina uh, thing is not being shown. I, oh, it's only during these sections. So you can only get it when it's actually glowing. Interesting. In that case, this one. So yeah, it needs to be actively glowing if it wants to uh, work. Handily getting that above 4,000. Hey, got a new filter. We got a cell shaded filter now. That's awesome. You know, I haven't taken a picture of the Dedene or, or Audino yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> Practically dancing. Wow. 
but definitely more story uh, than original Snap. Of course, it's a video game. Every legend is true. Ah, we're the special. But. Really? <laughs> Jeez. But. <laughs> right? I can't believe having it already. Oh god, we're an evil team. Yep. Oh, thank you. There's a lot of talking. Alright, let's head back out there and see what we got next. Alright. Oh nice! We can toss apples! I mean, that's what assistants do, I guess. You're an unpaid intern. So this is... Ah, it's floof, fluff fruit. Wow. Ah, so you're not thwack them in the head with an apple. They're softer. <laughs> <All right. laughs> We're not actually hurting them. No, not at all. You can throw a fluff fruit by pressing the B button. Give it a try. There! See? It came to get a bite. Who doesn't love a little snack? You can move the pointer around. Imagine if we had ketchup. See if I can clock him in the head. Some Pokemon might not be interested. Maybe they're more cautious than hungry. All right, that should be enough practice. Don't forget what I told you, okay? I was trying to get another picture, but oh well. I love how they just jam in like, Phoom, I'm here. Now then. Len talk. Yep. Mm. Huh. By the way. All right, we got tips. 
Amy's favorite Pokemon, she loves Bulbasaur. Catch him in the act. Scram. Oops. Alright, let's research. Hello. And she wants Meganium's pal. Interesting. Alright, well, let's do park during the day. And just run through again. You can see how softly it hits him. There we go. that I always forget about. Hmm. All sense that thwacking Pokemon has disappeared. Pichu, let me get a good picture of you. Oh, God. Well, Dodrio just sort of jumped off a cliff. At least we got that. But Miss Magikarp. I feel like I'm not doing too hot this time. Can I get through Comfy's uh, uh, hoop? That's a cool animation. Well, 
well, oh well. I don't think I did too hot that time, but oh well. I don't know. I didn't even get a Mulga in the shot, but <laughs> I guess it counts. Oh, I never got a two star of uh, Bidoof. Nice. Uh, that happy, happy tan, tan growth. How was that a two star? All right. Sure. <laughs> Sometimes when you whack them, things just work out. Yeah, it's eating. <laughs> How many stages are there? I don't know. Not as good. I love how I can't even see a Mulga in that shot, but hey, there's my points. They're terrible, but there you go. <clears throat> oh, a 20 hour game to beat. Nice. Actually improved. I'll take it. It does feel good when you improve upon it or get a new uh, shot. There's just something satisfying about it all. been bopped by something <laughs> yeah I bopped it all right <clears throat> oh so close to that crystal ranking oh well Bluebot says, love your stream, Derek. Just wanted to say thanks for all the chill gaming times. This one in particular got me very excited and got glad the new staff de delivered. Yeah. First impressions, I feel good. I feel really good about this. We won't worry too much about retrying this time until we get some new stuff. But I do want to go into nighttime and uh, see if I can capture that Swana. Hey, I got a sweet. Hmm. Man, they, uh, 
it's kind of cool they have a way to guide you to uh, the other star <clears throat> poses for the Pokemon. Excuse me about my voice. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't have any water next to me. Good luck. Oh. Score bunny. Dang it, score bunny. So, found a way to quick turn. D pad. Every time I swear. God, it's so cute. Oh, thank you, Amy. You're so kind. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, oh, it's using string shot. Sweet. <laughs> oh, wait, up here. I almost forgot. I was so concerned about the Caterpie. <clears throat> there it is. I'll get back here. There we go. Not the greatest shot, but I'll take it. Literally. Magic carp. Let's see what else we got here. I will. <laughs> just barely got it eating. <laughs> I think I just heard it burp. time. Right. Well, we did our best. <laughs> uh, the uh, Japanese release, but you could also work with the uh, Australian one. goodness for some water <clears throat> well let's see how we did all right we got a two star which we hadn't didn't have before oh man which two star we got happy bunny lazy bunny oh happy or lazy bunny now this is uh Oh, uh, no, I got a, I got a nice subtitle for that one. Got to go with that one. I guess this one. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Four look better. I didn't realize I didn't get a one star of the Mur Murkrow. And apparently the Castlevania collection. I'll have to take a look at that. Um... Oh, I got the four star because it got the uh, the, the string shot. That's awesome. I love how they reward you. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, knocking up the, uh, knocking into these. There we go. So close. All right. We got a four-star photo. But yeah, I'll have to check out the Castlevania collection. Um, when it goes up. I don't know if I'll actually pick it up, but... Better. Not perfect, but better. Nice. Lazy score bunny apparently always nets me points. Go figure. $175? Holy cow, what the heck are they including in that thing? Just Julio? I'm really enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. Almost a 4,000. Nice work. <laughs> Perturbed. So here you go. Angry tan, uh, tan growth is better than happy tan growth. Just the way it is. Mm, nice work. Not bad. Mm. They just uh, limited run games is releasing a physical copy of Castlevania Anniversary. Perfect timing. Mm. Nice work. I love how it's noticing it's in flight. Not that it's, you know, an Illumina Pokemon. Oh well. Mm. Nice work. TV? Pcorp TV? I'd say this is, uh... I, I'd say this is worth it. If you enjoyed the original Snap and were excited for this, I think, I think this is well worth picking up. So they have a completion element for the thanks to the stars, and you can see both its legs. Oh, that's why I got it. I got three stars. Didn't even think about that. But yeah, you have the completion idea of getting each of the star photos, and then, um, and then, uh, bragging rights thing by getting, you know, the crystal rank. Amy can't wait to play. Yeah, you. I definitely have to get you, uh, you know, let you play some. Oh, we got our level two. Now we're talking. All right, where is it?
I swear I, we unlocked a new filter. Oh well. And yes, I am uploading that. <laughs> I know, it's a little too late for the weed jokes, but... We're going through training. Oh, please tell me there's a rival photographer. Holy crap! Todd snaps in this. Holy crap! I didn't. I. I don't know if they revealed this before or not. Todd snap, back and looking, looking good. Did they reveal this in trailers? Apparently not. Holy cow. Hi. I can't believe they actually kept this a secret. So? He grew up and he's hot. <laughs> Todd became a Chad. Hmm. Thank you. Huh? That's amazing. That's some continuity I did not expect to see. Okay. <laughs> Please have Oak in this. <laughs> I mean, it's good enough. I never expected Todd, but... Oh, you've really got an eye for this. Hmm. Hey! Huh? Back off, kid. Get your own mentor. Yep, there's a rival. Phil. Okay now. Well. Ah, competition. Yep. Awesome. However, need that badge back eventually. Excited and stupid. Cool. The cutscenes are impressive. Now that you're all here, we can get started. Listen up, team. I'm going to give you a breakdown of the survey. Okay. Hey, this is Florio Island, our home sweet home. The circled spot right here is our camp. But the survey will take us past these shores. And this will be our first destination. Blues Gamer, uh, it, um, there, look it up, there is a mirror tree. <laughs> Threw me off as well, but yeah, there is a mirror tree, believe it or not. It wouldn't surprise me if they use some of the Pokemon tournament assets, but there's nothing wrong with that. Come on. Agreed. Anyway. 
anyway. First in a century adventure. Gotta get that one uploaded. Oh, cool. I have five sweet medals already. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. There's where your Pokedex score comes in. They got a leaderboard. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, I'm number 218 in the, on the, uh, uh, 220 on, uh, my, in my language. Right. Let's go out and do some research. Wow, I thought this island was big. Jeez. The Funja Jungle. So we get different islands, and on each island we get a day and night, I guess. A leaderboard for each Pokemon? I don't think so. I'm not positive on that one, though. We got a Bounce Suite already. Apom! Apom, get back here! Got an apple for you. I know they're not called that, but... I'm not going to be calling them fluff loot fruit. You to fly! In our face. <laughs> hey, Slacking! Acting like Snorlax over there. Wake up. Got Pick a Peck. Oh, really? This beautiful eye loves to be around us. Oh, it came to a stop. Interesting. Oh, Arbok! Oh, wow. oh Quagsire! Another way! There you are! Is Pick a Peck literally acting like a woodpecker right now? Oh, it was. Oh, man, I didn't have a shot for that. <sighs> Couldn't get in there. Cool. Hmm? 
Wake up. No Pokemon rest while I'm here. <laughs> That's a cool shot. Oh, he's literally getting water. I missed that. That's cool. Magikarp eating. Can I bop it? Uh, I missed it. Oh, come on. There's a cave. There has to be something in the cave. Cave behind the waterfall. Uh, Lightbird. Oh, well. Missed the butterfly dancing. Dang it. <laughs> Definitely one of those things where you just got to go multiple times and see what you find. I'm not too worried about missing some things, though. Besides, we can only take, you know, how many pictures. There's our two star. That's our one two star, sure. There we go, three star Magikarp eating. I think this one because it's the biggest. There you are. Is the soundtrack as memorable? Um. Honestly, it's not sticking with me as much. Maybe it's because I'm streaming, but uh, a new discovery. I don't know. It's not sticking with me. It's like it's nice, it's pleasant, but a new discovery. Nice work. Pretty sad. <laughs> I think that's a good picture of Beautifly. Not doing anything too active, but... Ooh, just barely getting that crystal. Surprisingly decent score for that half-hearted photo. <laughs> Favorite moment of the original Pokemon Snap? T uh, shooting Char Charmeleon into the lava and becomes Charizard. Always found that really funny. Actively ticking off Pokemon so you can <laughs> get better photos. And Quagsire. There's no way Whooper's not in here if we got Quagsire. A lot of bronzes for this one, but oh well. Not bad. I thought that was a good picture of Lyford.
it's satisfying to get each of the uh, ranks. Let's go to camp. And I'd say we can do one more run through uh, a level and then I'll have to call it quits for now. Um, get some other stuff done and... Uh, wow, 10 requests. I like these little missions. I did get a picture of his other foot. See, there's Whooper. I'm sure we'll get to the point where we'll uh, be able to zoom in or not. Let's do the jungle one more time. Oh yeah, that's the key thing I've noticed about this. This is just such a relaxing, you know, chill out and enjoy taking photos. All right, I'm ready this time. I think. I want to get a pick a peck using its, like, well, pick a pecking. There it is. Oh wow, light part with this early in, and I didn't know it, know it. Oh, hey, beautiful eye. Up, uh, yep. In the way. Forgot about slacking. Hmm. Yes, it's available tomorrow if you're waiting for the States version, but you can also um get it er uh, early if you uh, have a Japanese or uh, Australian um, switch account. Nice. That's definitely a good one. I love how determined it looks. That's adorable. I love it. I got it. You want to come out? <laughs> Yay! I ticked off pick a pack. Wait, there's nest over here. No, nothing.
figuring out the shots is definitely a lot of the fun too. That's it. Keep using it. Good job. Got to get that action shot. I'm sure they'll give you the ability to uh, fast forward through a level like they did in the past. Hmm, anything else? That Quagsire is chill as all get out. Alright, all right, I feel pretty good about this. I feel like I did a lot better that time. Now oh, they don't let you fast forward? That's a bit of a shame. got some one stars here so let's see <sighs> that's such a good shot but I need a one star so oh well oh a three star Oh man, angry. I love this. I love this photo so much, but I don't think we're going to get a good score for it. So, oh, and that's adorable too. I think this has got me the best points. Feels real good when you get that three. A five star. Yes. Look at that. Or five star, four star, whatever. You know what I mean. Angry, angry is probably more rare. Yeah. But it's not lined up as much. So that's what makes it tricky. Like that's a better, this is a better shot composition. This one's getting posted though. Oh God, I love this one. I love that photo so much. Nah, gotta go with that one. Even if I get worse points. Got our one star. Perfect timing. Okay, silver. Not bad. Nice work. 
Ooh, very good A-Palm shot. Not bad at all. Nice work. Slightly better. <laughs> sure. Perfect timing. That's a, that is a good shot of Arbok. Look at that happy Quagsire. Hey, request complete, too. Mm. Nice work. Nice work. Yeah, the original one's better. Oh, well. Oh, Anthony uh, Panacasio, if you just if you love the original Snap, I don't see any reason you couldn't you still wouldn't love this despite falling away because this is this is just more Pokemon Snap. You don't really need to be a Pokemon fan uh, for this. It helps because you know understand recognize all of them, but that's still fun taking their photos. Yep. Let's do this. Yes, it, it is on the rails, uh, Sprite Frog. I love it. Oh, that's even better, Richard Herrera, giving you the bird. Nope, that's better. I like yours better. This aspect is a lot of fun. camp oh this game's totally gonna have some memes to it all right let's see what they say next and then i'm going to uh get that photo uploaded and that'll be it ah crystal bloom Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Just need a photo. Thanks. I did that in the first level. <laughs> but oh well. Mm. 
Alright. Go to the lab. Oh wow, this already got... Man, even the professor's got a bunch. Get off my pecking lawn or gave me the bird. Nah, I think I actually I gave me the bird is pretty funny, but I think get off my pecking lawn is just sort of fits the pose a bit better. Let's see. Wow, up to 1500. Not bad. Either way, our photo decks is now up to uh, 33 Pokemon registered. Not too shabby. But yeah, that is uh, a look at the new Pokemon Snap. I have to get going and get ready for, uh, give Amy a little break before I uh, come back for our reactions to the uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart state of play. So definitely be sure for that. I'll be, uh, be stay tuned for that. I'll be here with uh, Ash and uh, uh, Steve. So yeah, thank you all so much for joining me for this stream of New Pokemon Snap. I'll be playing it as much as I can in the coming days and uh, uh, hope, hopefully getting a review up as soon as possible. So uh, be tu stay tuned for that. But just off first impressions, yeah, this is a good game. Maybe not perfect, but fun and very relaxing. So thank you all uh so much for joining me and of course be sure to subscribe to good vibes gaming for much more on new pokemon snap more pokemon stuff in the future and plenty of other uh stuff gaming as well till then everyone bye <laughs>